Give us your best Texas twang. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Cali, man. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Love Austin's awesome. awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like my little slice of Cali in Texas. That's mm-hmm. true. <laughs> All right. I nominate Mulaney. What were your first impressions of Radiant? Mm. How nice everybody was. You're just not used to that. And coming in here, it was mm-hmm. just something different that I had never been exposed to. I'm probably the only one that started at the old office on St. Gabriel's. My first impression was, wow, this is a tiny little house. (laughs) (laughs) Was it? It was like an actual house? Yeah. Very small, very small company. And I was looking for something a little smaller and a little more intimate. So it was really exciting. Little did I know, (laughs) right around the corner, boom. Blow up. Yeah. So within a little over a year after I came on board, we moved to this building. We've already outgrown it. Mm -hmm. We've already outgrown it. How much has the CSR department grown and changed since you joined? Wow. That's a loaded question. Um, I joined February of 2020, about two or three weeks prior to us getting quarantined. And I think we doubled, almost tripled our department between then and now. Yeah, I would say so. You were probably maybe the eighth or ninth CSR hired. Yeah. And you are our first CSR that we hired to work the late shift. Yes. What is your favorite Radiant commercial or radio oh. ad? I loved the Napoleon Dynamite. Oh yeah. I knew you were going to say that. Me I too. loved that one. Yeah. Everybody was awesome. And I think that the people that they chose for the different roles was amazing. Oh my like, gosh. How did we have people here at Radiant that actually fit into those roles? How did Holly look just like yes, her? Did. How did you look just like her? Because I went back and, and I looked at that character. And she was in character. Yeah, yes. totally in character. Oh, that was a good one. It was Which so I would have never thought yes. of Holly in that It was character. that good that even she- Napoleon Dynamite himself recognized mm-hmm. it. Radiant plumbing and air conditioning go eat a big old fat rotten egg you guys killed it what makes an excellent csr oh that's a really good question too i think a couple of things make a great csr um one just having that natural urge to want to help people to want to to just to care about somebody and what they're going through um two I'd say having patience, um, not only for different times of the season, um, different processes, but patience with yourself as you Mm -hmm. try to grow and learn and become the best CSR that you can be. In order to be an excellent CSR, you really have to be team focused. Um, The focus can't ever just be, it it can't just be for you. You can't have the mentality of, I'm in this for me, I'm doing this for me, I'm watching what I'm doing. You really have to care about your team as a whole, I think, in mm-hmm. order to be an excellent CSR, because every single person that we add to our team has contributed something great in one way or another. Mm-hmm. I think what's most important is that we do cross over departments so mm-hmm. much in yeah. our role. Oh yeah, and we're it's the like messengers. it's like we're the gatekeepers. Yes, yeah. So we're that first we're contact <laughs> with that customer. And yeah, we're the relayers. So we relay a lot of information to them. And Mm -hmm. and with that entails having those good connections in the other departments as well. And it's like building those connections. It's probably a good six month to a year learning curve to to really know everything about what we do. And um, if you're passionate and you I want to find a place that is going to invest in you as a human being first. I think this is a great fit. And if you don't want to do those things, you're probably not going to be a fit. Um, But you'll thrive if, if you want to find a family. This is definitely a family.